The new Flamingo Bar, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got to wait a minute. I mean, it's coming, but it's not coming till next summer because okay. I'm opening Tahoe first, which uh, is another season project, which is almost coming to fruition. But Flamingo is designed. The concept is there. It's all approved. And we've just started work, but we've got to wait a minute. Congratulations. Thank you. I heard you were floating on a float in the pool today. <laughs> I know, which can go very well as it did until it doesn't, you yeah. know. I was in a beautiful silk dress on the uh, Flamingo, but yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Thank God. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here now. <laughs> uh, you and Ken have now four properties in Vegas, uh, restaurants. Yeah. Why is no, Vegas... No, this now we have two. This will be our third in Vegas. Got it. Okay. And we have a few more in Los Angeles. Right. And we have one opening in Tahoe. Yeah. Oh, I love it. So tell me why Vegas is your spot for these. Vegas, it's like the playground of the world. It's just so exciting to be here. It really is. And to be embraced by the Caesars family, who are absolutely... Yeah, I, you read all these old kind of books and stories about the kind of gangster. I mean, I'm sure it exists somewhere. The best. But they are just all so like the antithesis of what I believed. And they're just so kind, so wonderful. And they give me creative license to create something unique like Vanderpump à Paris. Yeah. So they're extraordinary to work with. I love working with them. Well, I know you're a visionary, yes. so you need creative freedom. It's a control freak as well. <laughs> yeah. I'll own it. Well, it works. Yeah. So well, we there have you go. Design company, so to be able to dream up something really special yeah. is just such a luxury. Yeah. And then to be able to build it. So Vanderpump Lane, our design company, we build everything, and it's this is going to be extraordinary here. This is going to be what Flamingo is going to embrace. It really is. It's going to be like deco, a nod to a bygone era. It's yeah. going to be super sexy, super oh, glamorous. I love that. Uh, BravoCon 2023 is yeah. here, Lisa. Can you believe it? We are in Vegas. I know. When I thought of all those years, I just signed up through Housewives. Who knew? Who knew? You'd be an Emmy nominee. I know, twice. Yeah, two Emmys like, we've been nominated for, which is so extraordinary. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, when I found out the news, I was downtown in early hours in the morning. I got the call from uh, New York and I literally was on my own. I burst into tears because it's just such an accolade, even just to be nominated. Yeah. You know, as a television producer and having created Band and Rules all those years ago, it just speaks volumes about our crew as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, Lisa, every housewife wants a spin-off they want a successful uh, yeah. spin-off they yeah. want to build what you yes. have built yes that's so, probably why they were so nice to me on the hills <laughs> yeah they, yes <laughs> yes do you keep in contact with any of them well garcelle i love garcelle. Sat and i've spent time with when i was in paris um i don't really know any of the others apart from you know the ones i left behind yeah call me a liar so i don't really kind of engage with them right until they decide to apologize of but I, i've been so busy to be honest i've yes. opened you know another restaurant and i've been doing van pump rules and it's yeah it's just been a lot but yeah. garcelle love her and in fact Class her son act. works for me yeah yeah yes yeah. we've loved seeing that the whole rachel yeah. thing it was a whole thing yeah that rachel thing that's uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, while we're on Other Housewives, Kyle told a story on Watch What Happens Live about you sending a bill. I mean, listen, it's always she said, she said. Can you clear this up for you us? You know what? I did, I like, qualify that because she was having dinner with a, a producer. Okay. That I know very well. That created Van Der Rules with me. And so he came over to my table to say hello. So... I thought, well, if he's with Kyle having dinner, you know, I've got a sense of humor. Yeah. I sent him my bill thinking maybe he'd like to buy dinner for me. But I'm not as stupid as I look. I actually gave the management my credit card just in case you he said no, which he did. Yeah. I thought after five or six hundred episodes, maybe yeah. Alex Baskin could have paid my bill. <laughs> Shout out. But yeah, but they didn't. So I have my credit card there. But they still... Uh, Kyle said something, so I had to post my bill online. So that's what you have to do. You got to clear mentality. It up. They you always call clear you a liar, so you always have to prove it. A hundred percent. Yeah. Obviously, Kyle and Mauricio, big storyline yeah. this season. Even if you're not watching, you yeah. kind of can't not get I've away heard, from it. Yes. Yeah, so yes, about yes, that. yes. 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 So, what's your take on this? You knew them very well. You were very good, good friends with them at one point. Are you surprised by the marriage kind of separating here? 
I think there were a lot of rumors for a long time and there were things that I knew and had heard, but yeah. I think everybody's sorry about it. I yeah. mean, you are, when a marriage, but, you know, but it's not over till it's over. People go yeah. through things yeah. and hopefully they can figure it out. I'm sure, you know, when you've got four kids and the love they've had between them, you know, maybe they can just kind of sit down and realize, hey, listen, I've been married 41 years. It's not, not always, everyone. It's not always easy. It isn't. I mean, <laughs> not everyone can hey, be like him. It's easy to live with me, but <laughs> let's talk about the other way around. Uh, <laughs> well, listen. I mean, yeah, I think really, you're both just fabulous. Be, just believe me. Go with my story. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You know the truth. I can't lie. I would dream of being married to Lisa Vanderpump. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Thank you. But you're very handsome as well. Oh, please Ken. don't encourage him. So, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, so let's talk about Vanderpump. Yes. Can I give? I can yes. Give, let's give this donut. Is, yeah, donut. Because he, I think he's really hungry. He's trying to eat my jacket. <laughs> so Vanderpump, you guys um, have wrapped shooting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What, you know, you guys have kept this pretty airtight. There's the little things have tripped out. Seems like people are divided. Is that well, I think for the most part, Van and Pump Rules has been pretty airtight over the years, it, apart from Scandal, which yeah. kicked off after we finished. But I don't think we've had so many people selling stories and things over the last no. 12 years on Van and Pump Rules. It's been a story that we wanted to tell, and it's always been complicated. But this season, it's different. But I think as a producer, it needed to be different because there was a very different story to tell yeah. and it was this group that was so fragmented and there were so many splinters um, and I felt it was almost incumbent upon me to try and put it back together a little bit because I try to see all of their points of view. I was criticized at the reunion for not having more of a go at, at Tom Sandoval but we knew what he'd done. We knew that you know everybody was saying the same thing so Sometimes it's my job to try and be a mother in the situation. Yeah. You know, if like all your kids are fighting, you yeah. don't pick sides. You yeah. can facilitate some kind of uh, cohesion. It's difficult for you though, because they're all sort of difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my show? It's a difficult to understate of the year. <laughs> yes, it's really difficult. <laughs> yes. Are you watching Ariana on, on Dancing with the Stars? I've watched her a little bit, but I've just come back off location for right. two months doing, you know, Vanderpump Villa yes. uh, for Hulu. So I, I've only seen a couple of dances, but she's done really, really well. Really proud well. of her. I did text her and say, so proud of you. So good for her. She's doing amazing. Didn't Maurizio get the boot or something yesterday? Who? Maurizio. Yes, he did. Yeah, he, he got, got the hoof. Yeah. He did good, though. Did he? I thought so. You Did you watch? No. No. Oh, because you were in France. Yeah, but I, I got sent videos of Ariana, but nobody yeah. sent me any of Maurizio. I wonder why that was. <laughs> I think they figure you don't want to see it. Probably. <laughs> Congratulations on your new grandbaby. I'm oh, gonna, God. Yeah. Yes. Everything Pandora. is everything. How is she as a mommy? Oh, she is even more obsessed than I was, and I didn't think that was possible. Yeah. But he is such a beauty. Our, our family have been through so much sadness, losing my brother, suicide, my mother, and then to have a new baby in the family has just been the extraordinary blessing. Yeah. And I was lucky enough that they followed me on location, Pandora's working on the production too, and Teddy went, so it was That's really, great. really a lovely time for the whole family, her husband, and it was lovely. wonderful. Lovely. Wonderful. You know, before we get into the sip and spill, I'm just recalling Bryn Whitfield. Oh, yes. No, you know yes. her very well, well she right? She's a very good friend of, of my daughter's. Yes, and she, I think she said something like, I credit Lisa Vanderpump was saving my life because she gave me a job and a car or a place to live, she said, yeah. You gave her a place to live? Yeah. I mean, and, that's kind of amazing. Car. Well, I think she spent a lot of time with Pandora, and, you know, Pandora's friends were often close to our family. Yeah. Yeah, and I think we did lend her a car, but she seems to be doing great on that show, right? She's doing fabulous. Yeah. I think she'll definitely be back. Yes. So I love to hear that because we love you, Lisa Vanderpump. Aww. And I'm ready to move in whenever you'll take me. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet.